Let me start by nailing this truth in your mind. And that is, you or I or in fact the best professional in the industry also cannot grow if the market is not growing. Problem is, most people miss this fact. So if the market is not growing, the CAGR is not moving forward, then we cannot grow as a professional in that industry. So today's topic is cancer genomics. Cancer genomics as a market, is it growing? What it can bring to you money-wise, growth-wise and social impact-wise? Let's find out in today's video. Now before I get started, let me quickly remind you that we are conducting a cancer genomics workshop on 8th and 9th of February 2025 and if you are interested you can participate in that details are given in the description in case you're watching this video after 8th and 9th of February you can always always watch the recording again the details are given in the description like I said in the beginning of this video you cannot grow if the market is not growing so how big is the cancer genomics market right now the cancer genomics market right now is standing at 15 billion dollars globally but it is growing enormously now how fast Let's find out. Now, it is estimated that by the year 2030, this market will be growing 15% annually, which is a very good number. We all know that cancer itself as a disease is growing and it's the biggest challenge which humanity has. Obviously, companies are rushing towards treating it. And if any company finds a cure for this, then they are bound to mint billions of dollars. And that is why they will not mind paying you millions so that you can help them earn billions of dollars. So let's find out what kind of jobs and what is the salary range you can get. Globally, currently you can earn in between $90,000 to $150,000 annually if you become a genomic data scientist. Now this is data as of 2025. It will grow only, it will not reduce. The second thing is if you become a bioinformatics scientist, you could be earning somewhere around $85,000 to $150,000 again. Then another uh, job which you can get is an oncology genetic counselor. You can be counseling patients and that also fetches you $70,000 to dollar one forty thousand per year. Moving forward, as a cancer genomics researcher, that's one of the highest paid paid jobs. You can earn up to one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. After that, there is also a position called as clinical genomic scientist, where you can earn in between ninety thousand to one lakh sixty thousand dollars per year. Now, these are not random numbers. This is the real money which is being paid to cancer genomics specialists, and you can be one among them. Now after that, now the question is from where do you get these salaries? Of course, pharma companies, biopharmaceutical companies, academic research institutions, governments, NGOs, trusts and foundations such as Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. These are the places which where you can fetch a lot of money. Then you have the NIH, NCI, ICMR, CSIR labs government labs where AI driven research is happening where the genomic data scientists are using AI to find the real mutation and uh, treat it. Then now coming to okay so there's money here but will it grow? How fast it will grow and what can you become? Let's find out. There is a lot of R&D investments happening in India, US, Europe and it is estimated that by 2030 every 10th person on our planet will be suffering from some kind of cancer if it is not treated. So this is a huge, huge, huge prediction. Now the integration of AIML is driving the growth of cancer genomics and uh, immuno-oncology targeted therapies, CRISPR-based gene editing therapies, these are coming up and this is driving the growth of the cancer oncology research, cancer genomics, data science jobs. The key areas where career advancement will happen in cancer genomics will be precision medicine because that's one focus. Scientists are trying to develop personalized therapies because because every patient is unique, their genes are unique, so their data is unique, so their therapy has to be unique. Immuno oncology, in fact, there, there, recently there is a career which has come up is oncology psychologist. So you could be counseling patients because when a patient realizes that he has cancer, it's not just him, his family also starts suffering mentally. So mental health is another aspect where uh, you could be making a career. You could also be making a career in liquid biopsy and early detection. You could be working on advancing the non-invasive uh, methods of early cancer diagnosis. If we can diagnose early, we can treat early, right? And of course, uh, AI and genomics implementing artificial intelligence, machine learning algorithms to analyze genomic data, find patterns, realizing which particular gene is causing it and trying to use gene therapy to edit that gene. So this is totally shifting the direction of uh, data science in cancer research. This 
is money wise growth wise but i feel the last part which is social impact is huge you look at this we are going to say that every 10th person on the planet is prone to cancer some kind of cancer we have now proven that uh, alcohol leads to cancer we have now proven that um, pollution leads to cancer air pollution we have now proven through research that smoking leads to cancer of course we cannot go and change people's habit of course we should but yes if we can detect cancer early we can save lives millions of people and uh, we can develop personalized treatment plans we can reduce the side effect of the chemotherapy which is happening and we can have a better survival rate better prognosis and many people will not lose their loved ones if you decide to learn cancer genomics but if you want to win this market you have to start early and one of the first steps you can take is attending the cancer genomics workshop which biotechnica is conducting on 8th and 9th of february please attend that this is a two days online workshop you will get to learn a lot of new insights you have um, some four to five scientists coming in this workshop and they are going to talk about it and of course our channel will always be there to support you in your research we will keep coming with more such opportunities but i believe that if the opportunities are grabbed early you get started early you win the market early and like i told you you cannot you know declining market you can always win a growing market cancer genomics is a growing market it is growing exponentially if you enter now you have a good chance of making a mark the pathway will obviously be molecular biology learning gene therapy learning aiml learning bioinformatics and of course then getting some work experience which of course you can take at biotechnica and then you can create a beautiful world for the future generations so thank you so much for watching this video let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or any uh, feedback and uh, definitely i would love to see you as a cancer researcher who wins the world of cancer thank you take care bye bye